gradually we are approaching the end of 2022 and when it gets to this part of the year you know what everyone wants right Hello everyone, I'm your instructor Benjamin and I humbly welcome you to another exciting video tutorial lessons with Plabin Solutions. So in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through a step by step with no steps skipped on how to create or design this wonderful and amazing desktop calendar. But before we kick start with this video, I would like you to perform a short exercise for me. Kindly pause with whatever you're doing right now and click on the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure to check the bell icon to all as well so you don't miss any of my future videos if you're out here and you love what i do please do well to give this video a like by so doing it tells the algorithm to push this video to a lot of new people that are out here who haven't seen it yet and when that happens we all benefit from it So without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into Photoshop and let's, let's start creating or let's start making beautiful design works using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so in front of you right now are the resource files that I'll be using for design work. We have, I decided to go with Kata FIFA World Cup Kata 2022. Uh, the reason is we are in the, you know, uh, season of World Cup and uh, yeah so i decided to use this yeah but it's not it's not a 2022 uh calendar design it's a, this is a 2023 calendar design so in here we have a pdf gather 2023 and this actually is the template for the calendar design i'll leave a link to where i got this template downloaded in the description below so do want to check it out and get a copy for yourself all right so quickly let's move on, on to photoshop all right, so I've already imported the PDF here, but well, I'm going to redo this again and um, I'm just going to put this guy this way and I'm going to be dragging him over here this way and uh, all right, so there you have it. So I'm going to use uh, pages and I'm going to hold my control key and select both pages and uh, I'm going to just click OK all right then I'm going to turn this first one off so no and I'm going to save changes to this all right so we have the monthly uh, monthly calendar all right so we have the month here and the second one has to do with the holidays that appears in the year right good so uh, i got this from timeanddate.com so uh, a link will be placed in the description for you to get your copy of the 2023 calendar all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i just need the january for my design so i'm going to use click on the rectangle marquee to the shortcut key is m so just hold and drag this way and i'm going to press ctrl j that is to duplicate it and turn off the larger one select my move to and now i can make use of the january over here so quickly let's run into file and let's create our working document ctrl n for the shortcut key or go to file and click on new and in here what i'll be doing first of all is to start working on the dimensions okay so i'll, I'll be working in inches and first let me name this to you 2023 calendar what am i typing hello all right so inches and here I'll be using 20.5 and with the height I'll be using 11.65 alright so 
this dimension is not a fixed one it's not a standard dimension i'm using this dimension because at the end of the tutorial i would want to you know create a mock-up of it onto the desktop uh card uh yeah the desktop calendar card so that is why i'm using this dimension but if you are to design this for a client uh, i would recommend that you seek the uh the dimensions from the client so as a client to you know give you the dimensions and you can work with that so uh in here i think everything is set all right so now that we have a canvas here what i'm going to do first of all is to first bring in my image which is this All right, so uh, let's drag and make this big, uh, not big, but you know, something this way. All right, then I can drag this up. All right, so that was too much. All right, so let's hit enter and So for the design, I would love to see this, you know, the logo of the Qatar FIFA World Cup turned into in the design, but there are some part that I wouldn't want to see in the design. So as we have this looking nicely, what I would want to do next is click on the rectangle tool and create a shape with white fill color and uh, nothing as a stroke all right. all right then so i can now push this guy over here this way right and quickly what i'll be doing next is to uh, quickly go in here and bring in my calendar that's the month of jelly over here Control t and let's increase the size of this so there you have it in here then secondly uh, I'll, I'll be bringing in another image which has to do with the football image in here this way so let me drop this guy over here all right so um, i'll be clipping max i'll be clip masking this to the ship but I would want to you know rotate or flip it horizontal so control t right click on it and let's say flip horizontal right then i'm going to reduce the size of the image so it fits well on the shape right All right, so I have this looking nicely for me. Then the next thing is to, you know, add a vector max to this image. Choose my brush to use the open and close square bracket to either increase or decrease the size of my brush too. And now make sure the foreground color is set to black and just click and wipe this portion off. We don't need this portion, so I'm just going to you know, wipe this portion off this way. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of my image to let's say 40%. Alright, so 40% I think is cool. And uh, let me drag this guy over here. I'll be okay with this as it is in here. And let me quickly bring in this as well. So I don't need calendar for year 2023. I just want the holiday. So with my rectangle market tool, I'm going to, you know, draw a rectangle on this guy this way and i'm going to delete them so let's go to select and click on deselect so the shortcut for deselect is ctrl d so i'm just going to hold this and drag this guy to this portion this way ctrl t and let's increase the size then if you can please it here 
then uh, with my so let me drag this up a bit then with my calendar I need to push this calendar. so with this one as well I don't need a generally showing okay so with my rectangle my key to once again I'm just going to you know clear this portion delete and that's it so control D to deselect and now I can just put this guy over here good then the next thing I'm going to be doing is to uh, now get rid of the Qatar 2022 this 2023 calendar that we are designing so I need to get rid of the Qatar 2022 and to do that I'm going to be using the patch to this for that uh, but before let me turn off this shape so that I get to see this portion very well then I can use the uh, patch to to you know work on it all right so uh, what happens is that the patch two won't work if the image is what well, a smart object so we need to first of all rasterize this image before it can work so right click on the layer image layer and choose the rasterize layer then now you can just hold this portion and let's drag it on top of the cutter so all right so just press ctrl d to disconnect it well i actually don't like the outcome so let me redo this so i'm just undoing everything way back and redoing everything once again all right so so I think this 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 looks nice so let me bring back my ship and there we have it so the next thing is to type in the 2023 calendar so 2023 calendar I'll be using a font by name Gotham and uh, Gotham bold, no light, Gotham bold. Then I'm going to be turning the color to that of the FIFA color. And uh, this should be in caps. So I'm just going to place this over here this way. And uh, maybe increase the size a bit. Yeah. Then I'm going to, you know, duplicate this and bring it in here. But I want this on top of the layer, so this should be up. Then I'm going to be using a color with header code 571218. I think that is a color for the FIFA World Cup. So um, the FIFA World Cup 2022 happening in Qatar. Okay, so then with this, I'm just going to, you know, uh, type January. January. but I'm going to be using a font by name South more and I'm going to increase the size to something you know I think this is cool and then the next thing is to you know write 2023 with this so 2023 but I'm going to change the font to, you know, Gotham. Bold, not light. Then, you know, reduce the size to something body. Right. So I think uh, 66 is okay. This 
this is okay then one last thing i would want to do is to you know um bring in the as in change the um color color for the uh, holiday i want to use the same uh, color so i'm going to just you know add a color value to the holiday so the same exact code five seven one two one eight then let's click ok and i have succeeded in adding the exact code and you realize that the holiday colors in here is what pink a bit a bit pinkish but i don't want pinkish so i'm just going to you know select my pink bucket too and you know select the color that i have in here five five seven one two one eight so then i'm just going to you know click in the pink sorry i've made a wrong selection so let's select this layer yeah and then sorry control z to undo that okay so there you go all right then let's do the same for this guy good and uh, very good all right so that that is it for this and uh, i think finally we can uh, choose to you know blend or uh, fade out the logo of the walk up uh, the Qatar walk up uh, fifa walk up what am i saying so finally we can choose to you know uh, fade out the logo in here right good so quickly let me head on here and get the logo then we can you know fade it out So let's get into that but let's first of all let's try the image because i would want to you know get the white background from it so just select with my magic one tool i've made a selection the magic one tool is here shortcut keys w or just come in here and right click and choose magic one two now make a selection as i have done and let's click delete you know so i've deleted ctrl d to deselect this and um i don't need the FIFA World Cup Qatar, so I'm just going to delete that one. So with my rectangle marquee to selected, let's delete this one as well. And with our move two, we've selected Control T. Let's increase the size of the uh, logo, and maybe this should be beneath. All right, so I think this should be here. So we can fade this out by reducing the opacity of it. So let me increase it to big it a bit. Alright, so maybe we can as well choose to increase the size of the January calendar this way. This 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 is just looking nice and uh, and guys so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you've learned something new in here if you did please do well to give this video a, a thumbs up and also make sure to let me know in the comment uh, box below my flaws uh, your ideas your thoughts your suggestions your feedback they are welcome so please do well to leave them in the comment box below and i'll be very glad to you know give a feedback and also read them yeah so until I come your way next time, but there's still blabbing solutions and you know how we do it. See you in the next one.